Hello and welcome to Ask the Blowfish, explaining that a Red Admiral Butterfly has no naval rank. Now today's question comes from UWB Spitfire who asks, how do salmon know where to go to get back up river and spawn? Well Spitfire, it's all down to the nose. Oh yeah, that's where the money's at. So basically, when the salmon first hatches fry, those tiny little fish imprint on the natal stream. That means their home stream. And every stream has its own smell. You'll know that when you go to different people's houses. They always smell a little bit funny. Well, the salmon can imprint on those exact chemicals. It then spends the next couple of years developing from a par into a smolt and then a full adult. In this time, it moves down through the rivers, feeding as it goes, before making its way out into the ocean and then into the big blue beyond. When they're out in the seas, they are voracious feeders and cracking predators, so they get a real good feed on. Now, it takes them about three to five years to mature before they want to come home. Now, the first thing they do is they size up where they are on Earth using tides and the position of the moon. Cop for that, salmon, checking out the moon. Have it. Once they've roughly got an idea where they are, they head back in the general direction of their home streams. But as soon as they get even a whiff of home, they follow their nose straight back to the source. It's not that easy though, because usually when salmon get back to their streams, somebody's waiting for them. Bears! Yeah, think of me, but less hairy, and you've got a bear. And if you haven't seen one, where have you been? Come on, get with the programme. Now the salmon can't swim upstream straight away. They have to wait for the rivers to swell. Even then, they're in big trouble. Check this out. They're really going for it there. Now, assuming the salmon can make it past the bears, they will travel a long way. Some salmon move 900 miles inland, but sometimes salmon get it wrong and they end up going back to the wrong stream to mate. That's not necessarily a problem though. It helps keep the genetic population healthy. Now this mass migration of salmon inland to spawn is so crucial to the environment that there are actually trees deep in Alaska and Canada that contain minerals found only in the deep ocean. This is because the salmon bring the minerals up with their bodies, the bears or eagles feed on the salmon, and then the uh, leavings end up fertilizing the trees. So there you go, that migration of the salmon coming home isn't just important for their population, but for everyone else that relies on them. So there you are Spitfire, I hope that's answered your question. It's all in the nose, buddy. And for the rest of you out there wondering what's going on in the world around us, you know what to do, ask the blowfish. Well, you clearly enjoyed that video, or at least you watched it to the end, so why don't you click it, why don't you link it, and why don't you like it?